honor and great responsibility. It was Eagle Scout, honor is the foundation of all, the scout of all character. He knows that a scout is trustworthy. It is the very first point, excuse me. He knows that a scout is trustworthy is the very first point of the scout law for a good reason. A scout lives honorably, not only because honor is important to him, but because of the vital significance of the example he sets for other scouts. Living honorably honorable <coughs> reflects credit on his home, his church, his troop, and his community. May the white of the eagle badge remind you to always live with honor. The second obligation of an eagle scout is loyalty. A scout is true to his family, scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. His loyalty to his troop and brother scouts makes him pitch in and carry his share of the load. All of these help to build a loyalty which means devotion to community, to country, to one's own ideals, and to God. Let the blue of the Eagle Badge always inspire your loyalty. The third obligation of the Eagle Scout is to be courageous. Courage has always been a quality by which men measure themselves and others. To a Scout, bravery means not only the courage to face physical danger, but the determination to stand up for the right. Trusting in God with faith in his fellow man, he looks forward to each day, seeking his share of the world's work to do. Let the red and the eagle badge remind you always of courage. The fourth obligation of an eagle scout is to be cheerful. To remind the eagle scout to always wear a smile. The red, white, and blue ribbon is attached to the scroll of the second class scout award, which has its ends turned up in a smile. The final responsibility of an Eagle Scout is service. The Eagle Scout extends a helping hand to those who still toil up the Scouting's trail, just as others helped him in his climb to Eagle. The performance of the daily good turn takes on a new meaning when he enters a more adult life, continuing service to others. The Eagle stands as a protector of the weak and helpless. He aids and comforts the unfortunate and the oppressed. He upholds the rights of others while defending his own. He will always be prepared to put forth his best. You deserve much credit for having achieved scouting's highest honor, but wear your reward with humility, ever mindful that the Eagle Scout is looked up to as an example. May the Scout Oath and the Scout Law be your guide for tomorrow and onward. These then are your obligations. You can lead your troop, your community, and your nation toward a better tomorrow. Will Jack Coffey the third please come forward and administer the Eagle Pledge? When we began our program tonight, you joined your fellow scouts in repeating the Scout Oath and Law. Now, Anthony, you will stand alone and repeat a new oath, the Eagle Scout Promise. Though the words you say are familiar to those you've said many times before, tonight, they will mean more to you than they ever have. When you pledge yourself in on your sacred honor, you will be sealing your oath with the new words that close the Declaration of Independence. I would like all Eagle Scouts in the audience to please stand at this time to rededicate themselves in re by repeating the Eagle Scout promise with our new Eagle Scouts. Please make the Scout sign and repeat after me. I reaffirm my allegiance to the three promises of the Scout Oath. I thoughtfully recognize and take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities of the rank of the Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best to make my training an example. My rank and my influence count strongly. For better scouting, for better scouting, and for better citizenship, and for better citizenship in my troop, in my troop, and in my community. And in my and in my contacts with other people. And in my contacts with other people. To this I pledge my sacred honor. To this I pledge my sacred honor. Two. To the Eagles and the Eagles, please be seated. 
the honor guard please escort the candidates' parents forward. Gordon. <coughs> You don't have a very long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, your parents have been a constant source of support for the years you have spent on the trails of East. They're proud of you, as are, as are all of us in 2003. No words of this court of honor could do justice to the devotion and patient perseverance with which your mom and dad and the mentors have, who have helped you toward this worthy goal and manhood. Only from their hands could you receive your legal award. At this moment, Anne and Vince, will you please assist me in paying the medal of Anthony, your mother has given you love, encouragement, and support for many years. Not only in scouting, but also in many activities of the Over the years, Anthony, you've had the chance to pin many mother's pins on your mother. This evening, you have the honor of pinning the eagle pin on her and thanking her one more time for all she has done. too, has helped you along the Eagle Trail and in all other aspects of your life. He has always been there for you when you needed help and encouraged you to achieve and learn in your endeavors. Because of his guidance, I'd like him to present you the Eagle Scout Certificate. In return, Anthony, please pin this father's pin on your dad. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me and Troop 903 great pleasure to give you Eagle Scout Anthony Mark.